Are you thinking about customizing your Nintendo Switch? Do you want to switch up the look of your Switch but don't have the patience or the time to add skins to your whole Nintendo Switch collection? And do you want accessories that are both nice to look at but also enhance your gameplay? If so, then this video is for you. Hey, I'm Janae, and I'm just really bored with the aesthetics of my Nintendo Switch. The case and the thumb grips are super cute, but it's more for aesthetics and doesn't really improve the handheld gameplay, which already isn't the best. My game storage isn't the best either. I don't have a designated game case, so I store them in my travel case, which takes up lots of space and looks out of place. So I finally decided to get some new accessories while also matching the pink and green aesthetic of the Splatoon 2 game. My first thought was to swap my console for the Splatoon 2 Special Edition console, but the aftermarket prices on the console were way too high. So I decided to create the same theme using different products. To match the aesthetic of the Splatoon 2 Pro Controller, I bought some Pro Controller grip handle replacements in pink and green off of Amazon. I read that replacing the grip handles on the Pro Controller was very easy because it was only connected by one screw. However, I did have some issues unscrewing one of the screws and actually carved out some of the screw top on one, so I may have some trouble removing them later. I'm not sure if the screwdriver is at fault or if the screws on the Pro Controller are just not that durable. The grips themselves are pretty nice and textured, which is a welcome change from the smooth surface of the original handles. This baby pink Geek Share case is cute, dockable, and has a nice texture feel instead of the standard super slick and droppable plastic, making it easier to hold onto but not easier to play. I think we can all agree that using the Joy-Cons in handheld mode is not the most comfortable experience and can affect gameplay. I have also experienced hand cramps when playing some games. The first thing I did to achieve that Splatoon 2 theme was purchase pink and green Joy-Cons ahead of time. To replace my pink case, I actually bought two different case options, and thank goodness I did! The first option was a half pink, half green transparent case, which was also dockable. Having a dockable protective case was really important to me to save time and space. This case has a nice, almost shimmery gradient look to it, and at first glance it looks great until it wasn't. The colors were actually flipped compared to what was advertised on Amazon. And for full disclosure, I had seen some reviews on the product that said that they received this flip-flop design as well, but some were good, so I decided to go for it anyway, and obviously I got a losing hand. If this doesn't bother you, or if you're really not worried about orientation and just want the colors, this case isn't bad. It covers all parts of the Switch, and it's dockable. My original Switch case was a clear one just like this, and it worked great! Although, I'm not a big fan of the pseudo grips on the back. They kind of hurt my palms. So my second case option was the Skull & Co grip case, and so far I love it! It fits the case like a glove and has grip attachments on the back so that you have something to hold on to. The grips on the back come in three different sizes depending on your hand size and playstyle, and come in colors matching every official Joy-Con colorway, even the Animal Crossing version. I realized when I got it that I actually got the Splatoon 2 Edition colorway, which has green on the left and pink on the right. But they also offer the opposite configuration as well. If you wanted to buy another grip set like I may end up doing, they sell all three in different colors for $10. If you found this video valuable so far, let me know by hitting the like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. Now that that's all done, let's move on to the thumb grips. These Sakura thumb grips I originally purchased do make the Joy-Cons easier to use by creating more surface area, and they fit well. I will have them linked below if you're interested. To match my new aesthetic, I picked up these pink and green thumb grips from Skull & Co. They are very textured and grippy, which will help control movement a lot better. It was also a welcome change from the smooth texture of the Sakura thumb grips. They come in three sizes depending on your playstyle and needs. After using them for a couple months, I can say they have improved the gameplay experience using Joy-Cons. I also added some grips to my Pro Controller, but they were too small and ended up sliding off a lot. To fix that, I just bought the Pro Controller version that Skull & Co also sells for the same price. I bought this travel case from Best Buy when I originally purchased my console. It's a nice slim size case, but it's not roomy enough to fit much in its pouch. The pouch itself is pretty low and stuff falls out all the time, so it sucks putting small things in there like the wrist attachments for the Joy-Cons. I mainly used it for my small 8-bit Doe N30 Pro 2 controller that I would take with me instead of my Pro Controller to save space. To continue the Splatoon 2 theme, I purchased this case from Fenty. I was really impressed by the shell quality and the fact that it had a handle on it. This case has a zipper pouch, so nothing will fall out. It also had indentations for the Joy-Cons to fit snugly and straps to hold it in place, which I'm not too big a fan of because it's hard to fit over the analog sticks. 
I was hoping this case would work with the grip case on it, but the grip case was just entirely too big. So I will have to travel with a slimmer protective case on it, which I'm okay with. I'd rather the slimmer case than the better grip because I like to pack light. Skull & Co. sells a hard shell case that fits the grip in it, but I prefer the Bionic commuter case which also fits the Skull & Co. grip. I will have all the products mentioned listed below. Up until now, my travel case doubled as my game case, but I don't like having this out when I'm not traveling and eventually I will run out of space. I decided to get this binder style game case by Unikeep. I love how it's made to look exactly like the Switch and it's super minimal. It takes up about as much space as a really thin book. This one in particular holds 30 games, but there is another version that holds 60. And I love how the games are housed in foam because I've seen instances where plastic cases have caused some games to break. I think foam or some kind of stretchy material is best to house those fragile and tiny game cartridges. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all found this information useful. To see even more product recommendations in different colors, check out my blog post at everydayjanae.com. Also, please feel free to use my affiliate links. This video is unsponsored and your purchases help me build more content. See y'all next time.